People are freaked out, and they're starting to discriminate against the wrong people. Like, for example, I don't know if you guys heard about this. There was a, uh, an airplane, Spirit Airlines. Uh, there was a lady that was on the plane with her kid. You read about this. Yeah. On the plane with her kid, there was a Middle Eastern dude with a phone. He was watching something that had, like, some fighting, like, like, like you know, like war stuff going on on his phone. So the lady was with her kid, saw the guy on his phone, freaked out. She ran to the back, told the stewardess, and they kicked the guy off the plane. And then they interviewed him for a few hours, and they just found out there was just a Middle Eastern dude. He was watching the news. He was, that's what was the fighting on the... First of all, if he's ISIS, what is he? Like, like looking at last-minute videos on how to... <laughs> right? What's he going to be? Okay, so I go this way, and then that way. And then, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, don't start the plane. I have to figure out... <laughs> That way, and they go, oh, good. we gotta think a little bit because you know what happens I'll tell you I've seen it before what happens is people react and then the wrong people get discriminated against you know who gets a lot of crap when this stuff goes down Indian Sikhs Indian Sikhs they pick up I'm t- listen I've, I experienced it firsthand seeing how people get confused in this kind of atmosphere last Christmas uh, my kid uh, uh, is uh, my son half Iranian half Indian All right, my, my wife's Indian half Iranian half Indian are you half Iranian half Indian <laughs> He just, he just went, he goes, woo! What are you, what are you? You're... I'm white. White? Oh, white and Iranian. Oh, you're half, so you're half Iranian. Yeah. All right, and then the other half is just white. What's your name, what's your name? Jordan. Jordan, so the white people won on that one. <laughs> well, listen, Jordan, let me tell you the story. This, this is the story. This is a story of how like people like people get confused about what to do, right? So Jordan, uh, last last Christmas, uh, my son half around half Indian, neighbor's kid half black, half white. We live in Los Angeles, very diverse. All right, they're used to seeing diversity. My neighbor's kid had his cousin come visit from Wisconsin. A little white kid from Wisconsin came to visit. Six years old. We went. I just looked at you. You're a white guy. I looked at you. Fine. That's all right. You're what? One sixty third Cherokee. One sixty third Cherokee. How the hell does that shit happen? How many people were involved in the... This guy, 163rd. His parents, one, there was one night at the United Nations. There was a Cherokee, there was a Russian guy, there was four Italians, there was five Germans. There were 63 people. It was an orgy, you know? Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you the confusion, all right? Listen, so I take these kids, my kid, half around, half, half around Indian, uh, the, white, the, the neighbor's kid, half black, half white, and the white kid from Wisconsin. We go to see a movie. We go to see uh, Annie. We go to see Annie. We go to the bathroom to wash our hands. We're washing our hands before the movie starts. An Indian Sikh walks in with a turban on, starts washing his hands, walks out. My son, neighbor's kid, don't even know, they didn't even notice. The kid from Wisconsin, he sees the Indian Sikh with a turban, he loses his mind. He turns to me, he goes, <gasps> guy was ISIS. I go, what? He goes, he was ISIS. I go, no, dude, calm down. I go, that's an Indian Sikh. That's not, I go, first of all, I don't think ISIS would come to see Annie. I don't think ISIS is at the meeting. We must kill the infidel pigs. But before we do, if I could see Annie one more time. Because when she sings, it's a hard knock life for us. Yes, it is, Annie. I am an orphan like you. I told the guy, I go, secondly, I go, my son, you've been playing with him all weekend. He's half Indian. The kid got confused. He goes, your son is half ISIS? I go, no. I go, my wife was born in India. He goes, your wife is ISIS? I go, no, my wife's not ISIS. I go, I mean, she terrorizes me, but that's because she's my wife. She's more like wife sis. Um, it's an offshoot. They're terrorizing husbands all over the world. But I told him, I said, you need to go back to Wisconsin and stop watching Fox News, all right? Because that's just... It's 
crazy, man. It's crazy. The whole thing. Donald Trump now is coming. This guy, what an idiot. This guy, oh, he's stupid. This guy, this from the beginning, this guy has made it okay for racists. As soon as he came out, racists are like, we're back. You know, this. This just came out. They're proud to be racist. Goddamn, don't like nobody. Goddamn it. What the hell? He said, he, he said that he's okay with Muslims having a car, a, a carry a car to describe that they're, and identify them as Muslims. It's so stupid, this guy. He's racist. He was at a, a, a meeting in New Hampshire. He had a rally, and one of his followers got up, and he's like, there's a problem in this country. I'm going to come right out and say it. Muslims! And Trump goes, yeah, yeah, we're going to look into that. Um, <laughs> I'm watching. I'm like, you can't just say that. What are you... Like it's a legitimate suggestion. Okay, yeah, yeah, put that on the list. How do you spell it? M-U-S-L-I-M, right there. <laughs> I don't know what else, people. This bastard. 